Alrighty, welcome back to Siege. It is the Dust Line update. At least today is the day of the Dust Line update on May 11th. These characters are going to be super taken up. I doubt I'll ever be able to show them off for the next, like, week. But whatever. We're going to play normal characters. Uh, who are we going to choose? I'm going to go ahead and pick... I guess I'll pick Jaeger. I'm gonna get some shots on people. By the way, you can customize your guns mid-match now. Holy shit. Now I can swap to ACOG sites constantly. <laughs> Alright, so welcome to the Dust Line update. They added in a couple new uh, a couple of new operators, Valkyrie and Blackbeard. I talked about a little about them a little bit beforehand when I didn't really fully know the information about them, but now I know generally all they get they, they can do. Uh, Valkyrie has access to four high quality cameras. They have a higher field of vision. They are a little bit more in color than the normal defense black and white cameras, and so they're very very nice. And yeah, you have four of them. Beforehand, I thought maybe she got like one camera, and maybe she had to like directly place them. No, you just you toss them. They let you toss them like grenades, <laughs> and yeah, where they land, I guess you kind of you have to figure out the trajectory. Fucking welcome back to siege, and it's fucking load times. Uh, and then Blackbeard has a deployable shield that covers up his chest and his face region. It is destructible. I don't know how many shots it takes exactly to take down. Uh, the example video I saw I saw was two point blank shotgun blasts taking it out. But I'd really hope that if someone gets in point blank range of the shotgun, they're going to be aiming at not your shield. You know, they could be shooting at so many other things. Such as your entire rest of the body because your shield doesn't cover that up. But, oh well. So the dust line update does cover a lot. We're going to go ahead and reinforce this wall so no one can accidentally destroy this. But the dust line update updates quite a lot about the game. Little tiny quality of light things like being able to swap out your gear. Uh, but also a lot of balance changes, such as uh, not being able to carry a nitro cell on Frost anymore. I guess she was just really goddamn effective with a nitro cell and all the other tools at her disposal, so they changed that up. They also removed uh, frag grenades from Thermite. There are a lot of little tiny things like that. So we're going to see how this ends up playing out. I'm going to put... A couple of barbed wires in here just in case they try to get inside and we're gonna put this just on the floor all right cuz this is like the most exposed room there is and then we're gonna get back to just playing he's like normal so the dust line update and now we're gonna see much get super super changed but we will see so we got a couple of people breaching in from the front door I'm gonna hope they walk into the I front door. Let me turn up my game sound. I can hear them. There might be a couple on the top floor. Swapping bags. Blackbeard, forgetting he can get shot from every other angle. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Let's first look through these super high quality cameras. Oh man, do they not look really, really nice? They also updated some of the UI. So that's pretty cool. It looks a little bit more sleek. I hear glass. But where is the glass at? Don't know. Ooh. You see that? I saw a light laser sight, or that might have just been fire. I saw that. Couple people in the front lobby. All right, my position's compromised. Deploying heartbeat sensor. Stop 
don't know what these guys are up to, but they are really, really bad at getting through this front door. Sensor activated. Diffuser's down in the front lobby. Pretty much don't have to do anything else except watch the diffuser. Yeah, Sledge, go ahead, shoot my teammates. I don't care. Fifteen seconds left. Time expires in ten seconds. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't expect that! <laughs> I did not expect him to drop down! <laughs> that was the worst possible spot for someone to drop down with my fucking ACOG scope. Ooh, uh, yeah, see that's gonna keep on happening for like the next month. I probably- I, I doubt I'll be able to show you guys any Blackbeard or Valkyrie footage until things calm down. Especially since Blackbeard seems like he's gonna be a really good character to play as. I mean, being able to defend yourself from a headshot when you're looking through the, a window or something, that's just- that's gonna be an incredibly powerful thing. Uh, what are we gonna do? Yeah, we'll stick with this. But it's pretty much gonna be like when Frost and Buck came out. When Frost and Buck first came out, it was just everybody instantaneously chose them if they were if they were available. It was whoever was the first to pick it. Now, nowadays it's like, oh, I mean, fucking, I guess you could choose Buck, whatever. They've become part of the normal thing. People are avoiding playing Frost now. They're like, ah, I don't need her. I don't need her. Your drone has found Even though her shotgun's still pretty goddamn ridiculous. Speaking of shotguns, from what I've seen, Valkyrie shotgun's also pretty powerful. It's not frost level or ridiculous, but it's powerful enough that more than likely a lot of people are going to use that versus her normal gun. I can't be able to judge it until I actually get hands on with either of those things. I really would like to get hands on with being able to try out her cameras though. Those look so nice. At the very least, you can use her cameras uh, regardless of if you're her or not. So she thought if, she, if you have a Valkyrie, she tosses a camera in a corner or something. You can swap to it like you were able to see uh, in that last round, and that's good. That's good. So you just if you have a good Valkyrie, you, you won't even need to be able to play Valkyrie. It benefits everybody, and that's nice. All right. Let's see what we can do. We have a lot of infiltration going on from these sides. I want to get some explosions going, but if I can get a couple of free kills as well, that would be fantastic. Drone's up and running. Let's look through my drone. Okay, Glass. So no one's camping this window, which is good for us. Drone is ready to go. Well, that makes me happy. Hello. actually leave this area now that fucking glass is attracting a shitload of attention. We're gonna come in from a different side. Make them think twice a little bit. Reach charge is hot.
The diffuser has been secured. Ow. <laughs> Valkyrie's injured in front of me. Only person you have to worry about is Pulse. You should probably get the diffuser down. Yeah, plant it. Bomb diffusion initiated. Protect the diffuser. He's probably gonna die. Oh, he didn't! Op 4 eliminated. Boop, boop. Oh, that was Valkyrie. Oh, I fucking shot Pulse. I didn't see him. All I know is I got a shotgun to the face. But yeah, there were a lot of changes to so many characters. There's too many to really go over. You just have to read the fucking patch notes. I mean, Dechanka is slightly better. Not drastically. I'm still not going to use him. Until they put a fucking shield on Tachanka's gun. I'm not going to use him as much as I use other characters. Um, we're going to go... We're going to go smoke. Yeah, it worked out really well for me last time, but we're gonna say that's a fluke. Secure the area. Keep the bombs Those guys protected. are just not really prepared for it. It's time to armor up. Bomb location compromised. Plan accordingly. Op 4 has located a bomb. Plan your attack accordingly. Well, they definitely made a couple of the characters a lot more viable. Uh, like IQ. New feed active. IQ's uh, device that allows her to see uh, where electronics are is significantly improved. Like, to a ridiculous degree. She can now actually see the shapes of those electronic objects. Uh, so that means she can see if it's a C4 or if it's a Valkyrie camera or whatever. And it also has an increased range, so that's just, that's just very, very good. Yeah, I agree. Fuck this wall. Swapping man! <laughs> These are some really high up camera spots. Alright. So, what camera is down? Backyard. Okay. Enemies are kind of flitzing about in random ass areas. Still haven't breached the house from what I can see. Frost, they just saw you on a drone. Gotta give him that heads up so he doesn't just think he's fucking hidden. <laughs> but I love the contrast between these cameras. Whoops. Loading new mark. Frost, you have Ash coming up to you? On the staircase? She's in the library now. Of course I ran to Blackbeard. And of course he's got an ACOG scope. What a fucker. Okay. Ash is coming downstairs. Frost, you're the only one up now. One friendly operator remaining. That's game. <laughs> That's round. Holy shit. How much lag do you have, buddy? All friendlies were eliminated. Mission failure. 
I want to see if they see this fucking lag. No. Alright. I'm so sad. Of all the people for me to fucking peek on, it's Blackbeard and his fucking. Ha! Ah, I have immunity to headshots from this angle, bitch. And I'll fuck it. Let's play Mum Thum. Mum Thum. Mum Thum. No one has ever fucking really given me. <laughs> every time, literally every time I say it in one way, someone says it's a different way. It's just pointless at this point. So Martin Montagnier got a pretty significant buff. We need to locate a bomb. Not really to make him better than Blitz, in my opinion, uh, in terms of just his combat usability, but in terms of his like support usability, he definitely got a big buff. Uh, so they made it so his shield no longer, when he does his full cover up, it actually has extended shields on the side as well, which is a really big buff. Because beforehand, it only really covered his front, now it covers uh, a pretty significant amount of his front. So he has less chance to- he can just stand in a doorway and legitimately not worry about dying as long as they're shooting from the uh, d uh, direction you're looking at. Ten seconds. And that's great! That's the point of Montagnier! So I can kind of like look into a room and then watch as a Frost- oh wait, Frost doesn't have a C4 anymore. HA! And I just watch as everybody else tries to run towards me. And that's interesting. Oh no, I have been spotted. Close to me. Activating drone. Of course, that doesn't make me completely invincible. Uh, did we destroy that? I think we did. Yeah. All right, just making sure. It's hard to fucking see in the dark. I'm out of ammo. Stay close. Enemy contact. Engagement. <coughs> Stay clear. We have this. Just gonna casually walk in here. Is he gonna take it out? Yeah, he goes. I heard that. What are you, are you gonna fuse? What does that fuse down into? Not really much of anything. Congrats, you blew up an empty room. No! Oh. Hey! We know smoke's around that corner now. Ready to beat. Balto, you're blowing the shit out of a room that has nothing in it. <laughs> uh. Well, that was a waste. There's a lot of people here. There's a lot of people here. Alright, Balto. Two of them to my right. God damn it, Balto. <laughs> The diffuser is now secured. See, I mean, I'm gonna be making my way towards you. <laughs> Op four, last operator standing. Uh, Sammy, I'm gonna give you this bomb. Or it'll just make me plan it. Fine, whatever. Pfft, 
<laughs> Found Valkyrie. Mission successful. So who's MVP? It's Samuel. Really? It's Samuel? Me and my fucking six kills? Fuck you, Sammy! What the fuck? Really? I got six kills in one death and he's the MVP! I've been gypped. I've been gypped out of my first winning scoreboard. Son of a bitch. <laughs> he probably got like bonus points for one of the defense rounds or some shit. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Maybe I took two of his kills. Who knows? He knocked two people down to the ground and I happened to finish them off. That was an interesting first time to play Montagne after so long. You feel so snugly and safe. <laughs> you just, you know your sides are covered. You can legitimately be completely safe in knowing that nobody who is in front of you is going to shoot you to death. Unless you turn your back towards them. Much better than playing some of the other shield guys where like you fucking feel like you're blocking it off and then you get headshotted and you're like, huh. Wish that would happen to the random people who shield against me.